doubt that I would be the person I am today had I not gone through this terrible thing. And that's the kind of cool thing about it. I, I certainly am not happy that it happened to me, but I'm happy with what I've done to turn my life into something better. And that's, I guess, the best that you can do with any situation is, is work with it. And I've worked with it, and uh, now I'm at a place in my life where I'm actually really happy. I'm happy with, uh, with what I'm doing. I'm happy with uh, how I'm helping people. I'm happy with, uh, I'm just happy with life in general. So if there's anybody out there who's going through something really terrible right now, try to look at this and try to imagine yourself in 10 years time or 15 years time being able to make a video like this and talk to yourself and say, I'm gonna make it through it. It's terrible now, but I'm gonna make it through it. Because I did, and I didn't think I would, but I did. So here goes, enjoy. On August 20th, 1989, I was involved in a serious boating accident. The boat we were on was called the Marchioness, and the boat that hit us was called the Bow Bell. It uh, went down as uh, the Marchioness disaster. 51 people died that night. I was underwater for two minutes and came extremely near to losing my own life. There were a lot of really terrible things that happened that night, but. Uh, I think for me the, the worst part was knowing that um, I was surrounded by friends and I had a lot of friends on the boat with me that uh, when we plunged down into the water I could feel them grabbing onto me and holding on and uh, as they died letting go. And uh, I remember feeling like when I was underwater and being pulled down by them that I didn't know if they were my friends or not, but I remember feeling like I wanted them to let go. And that was a really horrible thing to live through. Um, The, the Marchioness went over on its side. They, the, the boat just rolled and, and filled up with water immediately. And at that point, we basically had, had, um, had to make a really quick decision. And my decision was to dive off, off the front of the boat into the, into the Thames. Off the side of the boat, force myself down to the bottom of the river and I held on to uh, a large like uh, wheel hub. It must have been like a truck wheel hub or something because it was big. And I don't know what it was but it was it was heavy enough for me when I was at the bottom of the river to hold on to it and the river wasn't sweeping me away because I knew that if I got swept away I wasn't going to be in control of, of what was happening and I was very well aware of the fact that the boat was going over me and and I remember holding on to the hub cap and, and I was as I was holding on to that hub it was heavy enough that it was solid but I also remember sort of feeling it it kind of being pulled up and me being pulled up and being pulled towards the propellers and it was just all this like white water confusion and bubbles everywhere and, 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 and people sort of like kicking me and holding on to me and, and, and like debris being forced all over the place and, and hear the, the, the poom, poom. Like a <laughs> of the propellers just like pulling me up and then just the sound of like that, that sound when you're underwater but it was intensified by a thousand times and 
I just remember feeling like this is freaky. This is really freaky. And, and how the whole thing seemed to be like in slow motion because it felt, it, it felt like I was watching a movie. And it's still as clear as yesterday that the whole thing is, is, is right there in my memory. And honestly, a day doesn't go by when I don't think of, uh, of how, how I was lucky enough to figure out an action plan from the moment I saw the boat bearing down on us to the moment that I jumped into the, uh, the path of the, the boat and, and forced myself down because 51 people died. 51 people died. Um, I dove, I dove down, and as I, as I, I was down there, um, things were just floating all around me, and that, and at the same time, there were legs of people above me that were kicking. Ugh, you know, uh, just, just horrible, just horrible. I swam underwater, and I kept on swimming, and I kept on swimming, and I, I finally came up, and I lost thirteen friends. And I went to funerals for days on end afterwards, and uh, you know, it was it was unbearable having to pack up friends' apartments and send them back home to their their friend their families. And uh, I realized that in a week's time or two weeks' time, when when the attention is taken off of this subject, that's when that's when the real problems are going to start happening because I. I think that's when I'm going to want to turn to Antonio or Peter or Stephen or Luis or all of these people and I'm going to want to say, help me, and then they're not going to be there. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you.